For many folks today, deciding whether to jump into the housing market or rent instead is rarely an easy decision. Now, especially if you're a first-time home buyer, a seasoned home buyer, or even an investor buyer. But in today's whirlwind market, you may find it particularly challenging to pinpoint the best time to start exploring the purchase of a home. Now, if you're a first-time home buyer, you may be wondering, should you buy now or perhaps rent longer? If you're a seasoned home buyer, you may be wondering if now is the right time to upgrade or downgrade your home. So what's the better choice for you? Well, let's find out. So if you're ready, let's go. If we haven't met yet, I'm Sue Singleton, Realtor with Coldwell Banker CK Advantage here in beautiful southeastern North Carolina. Now, a real estate boom during the pandemic pushed home prices to an all-time high. Add higher mortgage rates to the mix, and some would-be buyers are wondering if they should wait to see if prices or rates come down. Now, if you're currently renting, have you considered if renting is actually a better alternative? Rents have also soared along with inflation, and they're likely to continue climbing due to the persistent housing shortage. And while home buyers can lock in a set mortgage payment, renters are at the mercy of these rising costs for the foreseeable future. Higher interest rates and property values have made many seasoned home buyers wonder if now is actually the right time to upgrade or downgrade their homes or to, to stay in their homes they're currently in. So what's the better choice for you? Well, there's a lot to consider, so you may find it helpful to ask yourself the following questions. So here's the first question. How long do I plan to stay in the home? Now, you'll get the most financial benefit from a home purchase if you own the property for at least five years. Now, there's costs associated with buying and selling a home, and it may take time for the property's value to rise enough to offset those expenditures. The longer you own a property, the more you are likely to benefit from its appreciation. Now, if you plan to sell in less than five years, a home purchase may not be the best choice for you at the present time. Number two, is it a better value to buy or to rent in my area? Now, one helpful tool for deciding is a neighborhood's price to rent ratio. So to get this, you just divide the median home price by the median yearly rent price. The higher the price to rent ratio is, the more expensive it is to buy compared to rent. Now, keep in mind, this equation only provides a snapshot of where the market stands on the day you do the equation. Now, I can help you interpret the numbers to, to help you determine if buying or renting is the better long-term value in your particular neighborhood. Next question, number three, can I afford to be a homeowner or even perhaps how much home can I afford? Now, to determine your financial readiness, you need to examine how much money you have in savings. After committing to a down payment and closing costs, make sure you will still have enough left over for those unexpected expenses and emergencies. Then consider, consider how your monthly budget will be impacted. Now, if you want to buy a home, but you aren't sure you can afford it or what your buying power is, give me a call to discuss your goals and budget. Now, I can give you a realistic assessment of your options and help you determine if home ownership dreams are within your reach. Number four, can I qualify for a mortgage? Now, this is a question for both new home buyers and seasoned home buyers. Every lender will have its own criteria, but in general, you can expect a creditor to scrutinize your job, your stability, your credit scores, your savings and checking accounts, your debt obligations to make sure you can handle a monthly mortgage payment. It's always a good idea to get pre-approved for a mortgage before you start house hunting, whether you're a first-time home buyer or a seasoned home buyer. Now, let me know if you're interested and I'll give you a referral to a loan officer or a mortgage broker who can help you with this. The last question, how would owning a home change your life? Or if you're looking to upgrade your down or downgrade your current home, how would that change your life? Now, this is a great question to consider. No matter if you're a first-time home buyer, a seasoned home buyer, or even an investor buyer. 
So aside from the long-term financial gains, how does this impact your short-term and long-term personal real estate goals? Now, one of the great things about owning a home is that you can generally do what you want with it, even if that means painting your walls fiesta red one month and eggplant purple the next. The choice, like the home, is all yours. The decision to buy your home, whether it's your first home, your second home, or investment property, or rent, is among the most consequential ones you will make in your lifetime. Your real estate professional can make the process easier by helping you compare your options using real-time local market data and identifying actionable steps that you can take now in order to reach your long-term goals. So don't hesitate to reach out to your real estate professional. No matter where you are in your real estate search, let's connect today to talk about your goals and options in the current market and find out if Oak Island, Southport, or one of the other beautiful locations here in southeastern North Carolina is right for you. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel to stay updated on all things happening in the real estate market as well as here in southeastern North Carolina. Make sure you like and share this video and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And remember, happiness grows here. I'll talk to you next time.